think it's about time that I do this game over here. Super Mario Galaxy! Well, Mario may not have put a 2 at the end, I most certainly assure you that this is the sequel to the original Super Mario Galaxy, also known as... Super Mario Galaxy 2! Well, that's how I imagine Mario saying it. He didn't say anything there. So we're gonna carefully put our cursor on the screen here so I don't accidentally spoil stuff by activating my other save files. Yes, I would like to. <laughs> And I'll just kind of use this little, little generic icon over there, just to mark it as my walkthrough save file, I suppose. And the journey begins with a black screen, the most exciting of screens in the world. Oh, okay, it's turning white. Now, let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardusts. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. It's a longer time between sequels and the actual release dates. Dear Mario, would you like to share some cake while you watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. You know what I really mean. Wink wink. Peach! Oh man, I gotta go to the castle! Just go just go straight, Mario. You don't have to you don't have to go sideways or anything like that. Oh. Oh, you're, you're, going, you're going sideways, I see. Star Festival has just begun! Toads everywhere are celebrating! Hey, Mario! Woohoo! Starbits! Indeed! I missed the Starbits! Haven't you missed the Starbits? You can collect the Starbits with the pointer by, yeah, just pointing at the ski with the Wii Remote and use the star to grab them. You can also use them to grab coins and stuff. It's so exciting! I know! It's so awesome! I missed Starbits so much! <laughs> Happy Star Festival indeed! I can't go down the pipe! Alas! Alas! And you'll see that the story is playing out at the bottom of the screen there as I pass certain points. Try not to go too far ahead too quickly so that you can read that stuff. And this doesn't look too good, although it is sparkling. Oh, okay, it's okay. The sparkles must mean it's okay. Alien language of mysteriousness! I guess they talk only in triangles and X's. This strange little fellow seems confused! Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario! Everyone seems to do so. Did he go on my body? Anyway, I gotta spin! Mario's cap to fill with warmth and he felt a new power surging through him! Well, it's not really new. If you think about it, because uh, we had the spin before, you just shake the Wii Remote, see that yeah, he pops back in your body. Well, uh, yep, yeah, it's in the hat. I know, I know. <laughs> this thing fell from the sky. Woo! I can shake that to spin and destroy it. Oh, I, what a tragedy! What a tragedy! I don't think I can get that. Oh, I can get it! Yeah! <laughs> I'll try. Oh, wow, I'm awesome like that. I'm gonna do a side flip. Oh, yeah, you can do side flips by changing direction quickly while you're moving in one direction. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works, baby. Princess is in the castle? She is, or is she in another castle? I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I've been lied to before. Is this one of the fellow's friends? Sure looks like it might be. Ooh, I'm free, but where am I? Welcome, Mario! Oh, oh, I did my star bit! My star bit! Oh, I, I, I think there's a there's a worse issue going on here. Oh, don't worry, that's just fireworks, I assure you. Oh, it's not fireworks! <laughs> it's Bowser indeed! He's ransacking the, the whole kingdom, it's just Complete disaster, everyone panic indeed, just run in circles, the most productive possible thing that you can do. The sky, I don't know about it falling, but, well, there's, there's these glass meteor things coming. And, oh, no, no. Oh, he even makes the pages turn, dang it. You're too late, Mario. Oh, the power of the stars is already mine. And look what else I got. No! Barzo doesn't look like he's been doing his nails. Oh, and Peach is... It looks like she's kidnapped again. Eh, this is par for the course. 
I'm huge! Even scarier up close, huh? I battled bigger Bowsers in the past. Your younger self in Yoshi's Island that was no match for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. <laughs> oh, I see what Bowser means by that. Just like Peach's letter to me. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. <laughs> I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size, and I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms, Bowser away! Bowser can fly now. Yes. Yes. Continue panicking! Continue panicking! Stay calm! Stay calm! <laughs> what do we do? Oh, just keep panicking. It's, uh, it's gonna work, I assure you. It's gonna work. <laughs> We can explore the courtyard a little bit here because now we're actually in 3D mode with the control stick all over the place. Look at that. It's just just magical like that. Why, Bowser? Why? It's what Bowser does. That's why. Bowser is just designed to do this. It's in his blood. In his blood, I tell you. You may also climb the trees, but oddly you cannot go over the barricade. Okay, maybe that's not so odd. Invisible barricades, not so odd in video games. <laughs> Mario, help us! Help! Everyone needs help! Get the cleaning crew! You're like everything to us! Mm -hmm. Mario, where did that monster come from? It took your princess to send its universe! You must hurry and save her! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Luma Luma! Well, that's how I see it, because they put the first Luma on screen, but whatever! Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? I think you're safe. I see. So you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess. But how? You know, I bet Mario's cap isn't that safe in all honesty, considering all the stuff he goes through, but details. <laughs> I know. With young Master Luma Luma's help, <laughs> you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. Woo! As thanks for saving our friends, we create this launch star! We'll send you into space to get that monster! Now, let's go after them! Come here, shake your weird notes! <laughs> yeah! We're off. <laughs> to the first galaxy star we go! It's Sky Station Galaxy, Phoebe Piranha's Temple Tantrum! We begin! Run enough! The power stars, they're gone! Some gigantic Bowser monster sold them! If you're going after that monster, you might see our power stars out there too! Please bring our power stars back! We almost will help you along the way! Okay, okay, got anything else to say? No. <laughs> Just, just had to check for the sake of mandatory checking. Notice that there's some shiny stuff in the bushes. Yeah, if you touch the bushes, you'll be able to get the prizes that are inside. Well, those are, I guess they're flowers, but they're more like flower bushes. There might also be stuff hidden in other bushes. And if you stomp on Goombas, they'll give you a coin. Coins recover your health if you should take damage. It's fantastic, I know. And this, hmm, what about this door here? Hello, friend. Please go around back. Yoshi. That's not, that was too much like Toad's voice. I gotta work on my Yoshi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take a peek see around here. I'm gonna go in the, the this colored pipe over here first. I think that's uh, probably a good idea because if I should go down this pipe first, well, we get ourselves a one-off trapped in a cage. Not that lives matter all that much in this game, but I just wanted to show you at this game. Yeah, you can get the one-up that way. And this game has one-ups. This game has secrets, this game has fun left and right, and we've gone all the way back to the beginning. See that? See that? Yeah. Okay, so let's go in the green pipe now, because like, that's really where we're supposed to be going. I just did a move there that I probably should have 
demonstrate later in a more practical setting. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll explain it when I do it for realsies, I guess. Here's a tip. It's been the few enemies. Wanna see how? Sure. These are like little hint boards. And you can see a little video on how things work. Yeah! Tutorial videos, baby, and you can kick those Goombas around, get star bits from them, but if you jump on them, you'll get coins from them, so it's probably more useful jumping on them, but uh, in some cases when you need health, but, but otherwise, get those star bits from them, because you're gonna need a lot of star bits, and I mean a lot of star bits, a lot, a lot, believe me, a lot. <laughs> And I mean a lot, I am telling you a lot. By the way, there's a little exploit that you can do to speed this up a little bit here if you want to go over that fence that's around the edge of the planet. Like, it, like it only looks like it's insurpassable because of the gravity. See that? See that? No, it just, just seems impossible. If you do that long jump here, uh, near the edge, you see what you do is you press the Z button to slide, and then you press the jump button. See that slide? Yeah, like that. If you do that at the right place... Whoa! Over we go! <laughs> And that's how things roll around here in the Mushroom Kingdom. There's not just one way to get around, there are many. And you can't get me up here, can you, Goomba? Oh no, you can't! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have done that, I should have went for the star bits. Always go for the star bits if you could help it. <laughs> Kick those rocks around, get star bits from them as well. Star bits everywhere, star bits flying from the sky, it's beautiful! It's so beautiful! <laughs> it, it triggers my OCD in the best ways possible. How's it going there? Oof, you saved me. That monster got away. Did he know? Well, maybe he did. Maybe he did. Over here! Over here! How's it going? I looked all around for Power Star. There isn't anyone in this house, though. Well, that, that's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, the other Lumos told me about you. Thank you. For helping us. I'm going to transform into a launch star. Come over and fly! I'm gonna show you something else here too. You don't have to do that roundabout to get up there and progress on the level. Oh no. Just do a double jump, spin, up! I said, just do a double jump, kick off the wall, spin. <sighs> okay, maybe I'll try a triple jump. Basically, what you do is you jump from a distance, give yourself a little height there, and you jump every time. You touch the ground to get a little bit more height, and when you touch the wall, you bounce off of it by pressing against the wall and pressing the A button to jump, to do a little wall kick, see that? See how Mario like grips the wall there? Yeah. But it is possible to do with a, with a double jump, I swear. <laughs> oh well, that works just fine. Then I spin at the top to give myself a little extra boost. What are these little little fruit giblets for? Ah, ah, maybe maybe we'll find something. Oh, star bits! Uh, <laughs> oh no, not the octagoombas! Not the octagoombas! Anything but those octarocks combined with goombas! I can't handle this! I can't handle this! Well, okay, I, I guess I can. This way! This way! No, no. <laughs> I'm taking a peeksy around here. Oops, got caught on the corner. A lot of the stuff you could just kind of like skip past by doing those high jump maneuvers that I did like earlier on to show you how to get around that tallest area type place dealio there. But you know, I just did that mainly for fun more than anything. Is like, you know, I kind of kind of want to show you more level than anything, you know. <laughs> I will follow you, don't worry! Wait, what is this over here? What is this over here? Uh, it's nothing. Well, if you crouch with the Z button, you can do this though. Whoa, look at that fanciness. I know, I know. Hey, you crouch with the Z button and jump. Heck yeah, baby. Another one up mushroom. Why not grab that? Yeah, I did things in out of order, but why not to? I wanted to clear the way here. That's a checkpoint, that flag over there, so if you die, you'll end up back over there. Look out! It's a dead end! No, it's actually a bottomless pit of doom! Well, it's more actually more like fly out in space for all of eternity. If you spin in the middle of these, like in a circle pattern like that, you'll really get some star bits! Spin on these! Bonus time, baby! It's a rainbow star! We'll transform you to rainbow, Mario! We're off! We're killing all our two months! 
us and there's nothing they can do about it! Nothing, because we are invincible! I, I stole down my speed because I touched the corner, but that's okay! That's okay! Did I get all the star bits that I can get? It sure looks like that I did. And we wait for the timer to run out because it's like a bonus area and then you're automatically transferred back out here. I don't care to wait for that platform. No, you don't. Okay, I, I was probably better off waiting for that platform. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a little bit faster. Although, you never know if you're a speedrunner, though. It's probably a little bit faster the other way. And going up! Woo! Let's fly indeed! Woo! And, oh, wait, wait, what is this craziness? What is this craziness? I've seen this on this side. Oh, man! I got a little extra air with my spin. That spin is so handy. It's probably one of your handiest moves, actually, to save you from doom and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, baby! Um, I think I want to try landing on that planet if I can help it, if you don't mind. There we go! <laughs> you just wait for it to run out of steam, I guess you could say, when you go around the planet's gravitational forces. And fly! Fly, Mario! To the checkpoint. This is gooey stuff right here. See how it slows you down, so jump over it. I recommend long jumping. Practice your long jumping here. Yep, yep, yep. Long jump. Hold Z while you're running. Hit the jump button. You are good to go. Paragoombas, they just fly over everything, having a good time. And there's also a certain medal that we're looking for around this particular area, so you might wanna might wanna pay close attention to the areas here as to where things, you know, might might just might be hidden, let's just put it that way. Like, say, if we were to ride on top of these seemingly dangerous platforms, and on top of these black holes, I mean, yeah, they, they look pretty dangerous and all like that, but you could actually get up here, and look at this coming up. Oh man, it's a comet medal! You can collect them to make comets appear on other galaxies. We'll get into those as we go, but they are important. You must get them all if you want to 100%. Which is what I'll be doing. And... Yeah, that's that's what the other path will led around to. Is this right over here? There's a monster up ahead. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, see down over here. This is where I looped around. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal if I skip that, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Just as long as I get that comet metal, baby. Starbits! Starbits too! <laughs> I don't see any monster here besides this Octoomba. No problem though, as we can increase our life by double, but if it drops below four, we're back to normal. Uh, let's take a peek see around this ravage area here, I guess. Just kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's still a planet, and all those gravitational forces are affecting it as such. Even if you walk right around the edges, you can basically tell where things are gonna allow you to walk on them if the edge is rounded. Basically, if they're sheer, like, sharp like this, you will just kind of, like, fall right off to your doom or wherever last place you're... Yeah, yeah, whatever you'll fall down to, but most of the time it's gonna be doom, I tell you. <laughs> Oh boy, it's the boss! It's a beginner's boss! Oh no! And it's not small as per the nature of bosses! So yeah, it is, it's per the uh, name of the thing. Yeah, it's Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. You can pause the game by pressing the plus button. So this is Pee Wee Piranha, and that's how you can check the name of the level at any time you please. You can also shoot star bits by pressing the B button, and if you shoot at those glowing yellow spots on the ground, you'll be able to get some coins out of them, which will help you recover your health if you should have issues with anything, but I, I recommend just mainly conserving your star bits. As I said, you're gonna need a lot of star bits. Baby is having a tantrum of panic too! <laughs> Yeah, just attack its backside with a spin, and somehow the shell reforms! How? How? This- it's impossible! Impossible! You do jumps too, but let me see- but it jumps! It actually is 
less mobile in terms of uh, aiming for you than it than when it doesn't jump. See that? Oh, yeah, yeah. When it, when it jumps, it makes itself more vulnerable than anything. And one more to make it vulnerable again. And then Pee Wee Piranha will be panicking all over again. And just meet it on the other side of the planet if you don't mind. Here. There we go. <laughs> Victory is mine, and we get our game's first star. Now, how I'm gonna coordinate this, because YouTube no longer has annotations, is I can't really use a menu screen video type thing, you know, where I link everything together, but what I can do is link you to a blog post with links to all the stars and comet medals and stuff like that. I'll, I'll keep editing it as I go to fill it up with everything so I won't spoil anything. And... Let's just collect that first star, and if you'd like, you could go back to that menu by clicking the link in the description, but, well... But, well, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> this is only the first video! <laughs> this, that's the only thing that's gonna be there right now. But I will have that set up, uh, so if you can check that out later on after you watch the video. <laughs> and there we go! Got a star, got a comet medal, one per galaxy. Not per world, per galaxy! <laughs> Just rolling in those star bits, baby. It's incredible. It's like oh, quite a while to play that single area, but that's okay. Just because I was exploring and showing you stuff. It's all good. It's the first level. Okay. Gotta give you the tutorials and stuff. It was all fun. So, you're this Mario guy. My little Lumas won't stop blabbing about. Am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that Bowser monster down the Mushroom Kingdom. See, they don't say Luma Luma or Bowser Bowser. They say that Bowser monster. See, it's... That face made the other ones grammatically incorrect. <laughs> I sure appreciate you bringing us this power star, though. We need as many of these as we can get. Hey, I didn't say I was giving this to you. The name's Loba, by the way. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. Uh, see, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Sure looks like a planet to me. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumos pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Yeah, a little sprucing up will make it a little, a little better. Truth be told, the ship, uh, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that Bowser monster too. He blasted us with meteors and saw my crew were thrown overboard. So, that Bowser monster kidnapped your princess, eh? Well, it's your peach princess, or what? Uh, I don't know. It, that's cold. Steve's face cold, if you ask me. You know what else is cool? That Bowser monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from stars. Without that, we're stranded here. <laughs> Woo! Oh, 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 is, is that... Young Master Luma, it, it is, is it? Wow. Wait, if you have the trust of Young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I might just have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped, and now you gotta save her. Am I right? Um, uh, I. Uh, why are you even giving me a choice? Just, uh, <laughs> and we need fuel for a ship. Now, if you think you can get some of our stars back for us, or I'll just says star, but whatever, whatever, I'd be willing to make this ship for your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Uh, 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 mm, fine. <laughs> Alright, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything, ship, spaceship, shape, uh, uh. His puns, they're pretty bad, by the way. <laughs> Wow, what a transformation! And in just seconds, we we have a planetoid in the shape of Mario's head that's also a ship! I know, I know it. <laughs> Woo! Well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah? More like a face ship! <laughs> well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? <laughs> So, what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario, or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. 
And the game's gonna be automatically saved at this point. Heck yeah, baby. So let's explore Starship Mario here. It's like, whoa, man, you can talk to peeps. You wanna quit? Press minus or plus and choose save and quit. So I guess pause is minus or plus. It, yeah, details. <laughs> Long trips like this, be sure to take breaks from time to time. I just always use plus button because it's more easy for on the on the thumb, I guess, for me, based on my hand position and whatnot. This, this isn't anything we do about right now, but then these things right here, these are actually thrusters. They don't look like it now, but I assure you they are thrusters. <laughs> These consecutive jumps go really high. Run and jump three times, do a triple jump. It looks really cool. One, two, three, and spin for kicks. This is your tutorial on touching star bits. Yeah. Yeah. I already kind of taught all this stuff. It's like a tutorial slash sandbox type area, I guess you could say, to just mess around with to get the hang of stuff and... Probably a good idea to do so if you've never played a 3D platformer before, so mess around here. Yep, stomp an enemy, get those coins, or preferably star rats, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is also something that I taught you. Yep, yep, yep. Z button, hold it, press the A button to jump. Heck yeah, backwards somersault. So yeah, you can go through all these tutorials of yourself and just mainly focused on the dialogue more than anything here, though. It has indeed. Looks like, I don't know if the, um, is, I was, I look like flowers from a distance, but I actually think this is like metal plating. See those little rivets there? Yeah, it's not, it's not actually cut flowers, like a fancy golf course entrance. It's just, uh, just stamped right on there. They're <laughs> just stuck right on there. Uh, did I chat with the sign before? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm just kind of... I think I'm just walking myself in circles at this point. And I think I found everyone at this point already. Because remember, the, the rest of the crew is kind of out there somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is like you could play two players, but I'm not. <laughs> this is all about showing how to do things solo as usual. Heck yeah. <laughs> A little tea set going on here. God, I'm stuck on the table. <laughs> yeah, a little, little wind behind the ears there. And you can press Z in the air to do a ground pound. I never did show that move. Wait, no, I did show that move once, didn't I? Didn't I? I think I did. But anyways, I think this is the last one. So, you know, I'll press A to wall jump. See how high you can get with this technique. Remember I showed you this? Ah! Gravity, not your friend. <laughs> right on top of the smokestack. <laughs> My job is to take energy from each star and convert it to fuel. Um, um, well, um, well, as you can see, we just pooped out here. <laughs> Did you notice that was here before? Well, now you know it's here! <laughs> I just wanted to show you the alternate way of getting in there, because usually what people do is they use that entrance to get in there all the time, but they don't typically know about that smokestack area. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the game sort of kind of hints that you can go in there via this sign, but it's not something that, that you typically see people doing, especially this early on. <laughs> All right, and I think I have explored this ship for as much as I could possibly do at this point in time. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I take the helm of the ship and head on over to collect another star, I guess, but it's not going to be at a different galaxy. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see.